Back in the 90s, there was this health worker in Zambia that was trying to cure malaria, but had no way of doing it. He had no access to information. This was happening in Kamana, which is a small town 350 miles or 500 kilometers away from Zambia's capital. So this health worker was struggling to fight malaria, but had little resources to do so. His community was struggling, but not because of the lack of materials, but rather the lack of knowledge or how to combat the disease like a step by step. This health worker found a way to log on to the internet and he discovered answers to questions he was looking for. He found them on the website of CDC, which is Centers for Disease Control in Atlanta, United States. Now for the younger generation out there, internet wasn't as a commodity as it is nowadays. You had to go through hoops into connecting to it and be able to have access to it. Like even myself uh, being 10, 15, I wasn't able to access the internet. It was kind of the equivalent of having to travel to another city where they had it. So you went to a library and you were able to connect to it. So the health worker used the website of CDC and started using advice on how to treat his community. So those in need benefited from this availability of the information but of course because of this brave heroic health worker and their name i don't know because i read this in a book called made to stick i just want to praise this person for helping his community thank you so much for being such an anonymous hero for helping your fellow human beings all right why am i telling the story well because it's a cool fucking story first of all and before I tell you why it is so important that you know this story and the teachings behind it, please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. My name is Dominic. I'm a customer experience enthusiast. I've been doing it for 16 years now, 11th year as a Zenith consultant. I'm telling you this story and you might have picked up on it. It's because of the knowledge base part, right? So this website had a knowledge base with information shared to people, which was useful to people. Go figure. You can see how useful information being publicly available can be to some people somewhere across the globe. So whatever your business is activating in, whether it's textiles, whether it's food, whether it's electronics, whether it's healthcare, whether it's, I don't know, whether it's manufacturing of planes, manufacturing of pipes, I don't know what you do, but more power to you. You need to put a troubleshooting knowledge base online you'd want to make available for people to read on how to turn it on how to build it themselves how to troubleshoot it how to heat it up how to make it cold how to treat it how to untreat it how to everything why do you need this well i'm glad you asked first self-service people go online they search for it they find it and they're happy they found the answer themselves and they don't have to reach for you good for you because you don't have to spend time answering people's questions another reason why you need this is because you help the community you just don't know where the impact is going to come from and it might be major in some parts of the world information is power share more contribute to the modern day alexandra which is the internet i'm going to go a little bit deeper on where you probably like this more i'm going to tickle you in your business nerve somewhere. You can use this knowledge base one, as I said, to self-serve, but then you can use an AI that can leverage this information and have a conversation with the customer or your prospects to help them solve this request by themselves. So again, you're empowering self-service. You're taking it actually to the power of 10, not them just reading it online, but rather, you know, the AI answers this question. Then you can have bots. A bot can be very smart, with an AI or it can be something that can be trained, not as smart, but still leverage your knowledge base, these frequently asked questions, these, these so precious commodity that is information. Now, how does this tickle you? Well, it saves you a bunch of money and it makes your community a little bit more interested in you because you offer information, you give to them, and when you give, then you also get back in return. Or so they say. Get a knowledge base, be a badass, you have no idea how this can positively impact somebody somewhere in the world. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.